Yeah, so let me let me just start my today's session, and you know that's all I'm going to be discussing today. So before okay. we uh, deep dive into that uh, conversation, let me just quickly, you know, walk you through with our NetSuite course content yes, and sir, the definitely. areas that you. So yes. here we would be covering a quick overview of NetSuite. You know how how cloud computing works. NetSuite is a SaaS application. So we'll be just quickly highly discussing, you know, what is the difference between NetSuite and other typical conventional ERPs and why NetSuite, okay? And then, you know, okay. we'll review the scope of this uh, course. So we'll just quickly deep dive into, you know, NetSuite application on a very high level. I'm sure you've already seen the screens, but again, you know, uh, that's part of the demonstration sessions. And uh, so, yeah, this is this is a straightforward demo day one. Day two, uh, we will be doing setups and configuration. So uh, as you mentioned, like, uh, you know, you are forcing yourself as a, a functional consultant of NetSuite where you would be implementing NetSuite. So in that case, it is very, very important that you know how, what are company information features, what are enabled features, what are accounting preferences, what are certain setups that you need to do before the NetSuite account is ready for transactions. So day two is all about setups and configurations in NetSuite. So these are the areas that we will be going through. We'll see how a subsidiary is created, how location classes departments, what is the concept of classification in NetSuite, how are auto-generated numbers set up, how you, how you rename your records in NetSuite. So these are all typical setups of NetSuite that you should be aware of as a functional consultant. And this is what we are going to cover in our day two. Okay? Okay. Moving forward to day three. Uh, so in day three is all about accounting and financials. So in day three, we will be uh, looking into how to create a chart of account in NetSuite, how to process journal entries, how to do memorization of journal entries. We'll see what are the standard financial reports that NetSuite offers. What are some banking transactions that NetSuite offers? How does a bank reconciliation process looks like? And uh, the use of budget feature in NetSuite. Again, you know, uh, you don't really need to be very technical or, you know, very uh, accounting specific into this. It's just that since you are targeting yourself as a functional consultant, then you should be aware of all these financial transactions that NetSuite offers out of the box. Okay. And uh, moving forward to day four, you know, day four is kind of very interesting. So uh, in day four, we are going to cover the items and in inventory. So here we will see what are different types of items that NetSuite offers. Okay. So we'll be covering the inventory items, non-inventory items, service items. We'll see how to do inventory adjustments in NetSuite, how to transfer inventory from one location to another location. And we'll also see what are the different inventory reportings. Now, this is in consideration to, you know, again, your uh, aspiration of being a functional consultant. So when you go for an implementation, you might come across an organization that maintains inventory, right? So we'll yes. see how you can implement inventory in that organization's. Uh, and, uh, you know, for that, it is very important to know what are the item types NetSuite offers and what are the inventory features that NetSuite offers. So day four is all about items and inventory. Day five. So day five is going to be about the whole pre P2P process or the procurement process. So we'll start with creation of a customer, a vendor record. We'll see how to create a purchase order, how to receive goods in your inventory, how to process vendor bills, payments, credits, and all the standard vendor reports. So everything related to the P2P process will be covered in our day five. Again, you know, NetSuite has a pre-built in uh, workflow, or I would say, you know, business process of P2P within uh, itself. And this is what we are going to cover in our day five. Day six is all about order to cash process. And it's not just we are focusing on the accounts receivable, we'll be focusing on the complete business process area. So as a functional consultant, you don't really need to know just the, the transactions that are done in NetSuite. You should be aware of the complete business process that happens in an organization, right? So you first get a customer, yes. then, then you get an order. We'll see how to enter an order in NetSuite. Then how you fulfill that order, because you know definitely once you receive an order, you will be fulfilling that in NetSuite. So we'll see how yes. an order is fulfilled in pick, pack, ship status, and then comes your accounts receivable. So once you generate an invoice, that's why your ER comes into place. Then we'll see how to process payments and then customer credits, returns, cash sales, and uh, you know customer reports. So you know we'll be discussing on a very high level the business process first, just to give you an idea how yes. things happen in real life. And then you know we'll see how things will happen in NetSuite. So that's going to be the whole idea sure. at this point in time, considering the fact that you know 
your your career expiration is being a functional consultant so my focus would also be in you know discussing the business process with you first uh, rather than just focusing on the net suite screens good Great. okay yeah. All right, uh, then day seven and day eight is all about the CRM process. So NetSuite also offers a, a CRM module uh, where you can create your leads, you can create your estimates and quotes, and then convert them into orders and you know some CRM reports. So just, just to give you an idea of what a CRM process looks like and uh, how it works in NetSuite, we'll be covering that as well. And day eight is about support management. So this is more like you know post sales support that you give to your clients where you can raise tickets and cases within NetSuite. You can work on those cases. Uh, you can escalate those cases and just make sure that all the cases related to the customers are closed. And finally, all the case reports that NetSuite offers. So again, this is also a very important uh, you know business process or business uh, module uh, that you might, as a functional consultant, may come across uh, while you are doing your implementation. And it is very important that you have a very high level idea of how these, uh, you know, CRM process works within NetSuite. Yes. Okay, day nine. So day nine is all about dashboard and analytics. So uh, NetSuite, uh, apart from all the standard reports, uh, you know, also offers uh, different tools to analyze your data. And one of them is called safe searches. So as a part of the day nine, we are going to review the safe search feature of NetSuite. We'll be creating some basic safe searches based on a certain criteria, just to give you an idea how you can create your own safe search when uh, you know you're required. And then finally, we'll be setting uh, and publishing dashboards. So NetSuite offers a you know a built-in BI tool. Uh, so you have your own dashboard. You can customize it, you can personalize it, and you can set it and publish it for others. So this is all about you know the BI and analytics side of NetSuite that we will cover in our day nine. And uh, yeah. finally, on, on the day 10, is all about the administration side of NetSuite. So here we will see what are the different audit trails and logs that NetSuite men, uh, you know, men, uh, keeps in its uh, records. Uh, what are the login audit trails? What are the billing information? What are administrative notifications? And all that stuff you know, related to the administration side of NetSuite. And uh, finally, you know, we'll be having a formal training closure where we would be discussing any questions and, uh, you know, uh, if there are any queries uh, related to the training or if there is anything left. And finally, you know, day 10 is going to be our last day of this uh, session. Now, when, when, when you visualize this, you will realize that this whole training content of day 10 up till day 10 is designed in a way that can help you first uh, to work with the NetSuite as a user, as an operational user. So you get a flavor of AP, you get a flavor of AR, you get a flavor of CRM, you get a flavor of inventory management and accounting. So you can work as a financial user as well. And then we are also looking into the business processes. We are also looking into the setups and configurations. And we are also looking into the dashboard and analytics side of NetSuite here, uh, which is more you know, relevant with, as a functional consultant. So you can you know, choose your path as a functional consultant after this training course as well. And last but not the least, if you see yourself as an administrator of an organization where you are a NetSuite administrator for a, a company, for a company that has already implemented NetSuite, you can also do that because we are also covering the administration part, we are covering the dashboard analytics, safe search part, and again, all the business processes that as an administrator you should be aware of. NetSuite dashboard. So I'm sure you're pretty aware of this screen. So once you log yes. in with NetSuite, you give your email, you give your password, and then you are, you know, uh, presented with your home dashboard. So just a quick few things here. This this whole dashboard is totally personalizable, so you can just, you know, remove any portlets. So these are small pages here on your uh, screen that are called portlets, and this is all customizable. So if I don't like any particular thing on my screen, I can simply, you know, click on these these three dots, and I can simply remove it. All right. I can click on personalize, I can add more stuff on my dashboard. So let's say I want to have my calendar on my dashboard. So I can just select calendar, drag and drop here, and you will see that you know I have my calendar on my dashboard screens. So this is just a few things that I would like, just like to show uh, that we typically show in our demonstration sessions. Uh, but again, we have a full-fledged separate session on the dashboard that we will you know uh, look into more detail. Uh, so from here, you also have this global search bar. I'm sure you have been using this a lot. So this 
typically works like a Google in, within your NetSuite account. So if you need to search anything within your account, you simply type it over here. Uh, let's say, you know, I, I want to find anything by the name of test. You just simply type that and anything with the name of test, you will be able to see that over here. So this works as a global search bar within your NetSuite account. And this is, uh, you know, these are called tabs over here. So this is my classic administrator tab. So everything is grouped under a tab. So, you know, within NetSuite, if you need to find your transactions, all the transactions are grouped under the transactions tab. So banking transactions, purchase transactions, everything is grouped under the transactions tab. If there is any master record that you want to uh, create or entity record you want to uh, create, like, really, uh, you know, your customers, vendors, employees, items, chart of accounts, so it's all grouped under the list tab over here. So NetSuite has, uh, you know, created a very uh, user-friendly, uh, I would say, UI. Everything is grouped under one tab, and you simply just go on that tab and find it uh, from there. Uh, now, this is, you know, when you compare it with other ERPs, like, you know, uh, based off my experience when I talk about Oracle eBusiness Suite. So that's a Java-based application, and it's really, really cumbersome to find a transaction there or find any, you know, navigation path. So it's not a very user-friendly tool. But NetSuite, uh, you know, is, is definitely very user friendly. And uh, you have your reports tab, you have your setup tabs. So everything is, you know, grouped under a tab within NetSuite. And uh, NetSuite is a role based application. So whatever role you are assigned, you can only access those uh, forms, you can only access those transactions and reports uh, as well. So let's say if you are working as an accountant, your role would only have the permissions of doing financials uh, transactions and financial reporting. Whereas if your role in your organization is a supply chain manager, uh, you would only have access to all the warehouse related transactions in NetSuite. You won't have access to your journal entries and financial reports and all that, you know, financial stuff. So here yes. you can see that uh, I have my role selected over here as custom admin. Uh, typically, you know, the administrator role uh, is a role that would have all the permissions, all the rights to the reports and every setup within the organization. So based off whatever role you are assigned on your NetSuite account, you will be access, you will be able to access only those permissions and reporting re reports and setups. So this is again a very important, uh, you know, uh, basic concept that you need to build that, you know, NetSuite is a role based application and uh, you need to have the right role to access the right things within NetSuite. Okay. Yes. So let's just quickly go back to what we have covered. So we have covered, you know, the, the review of scope. Uh, the, we, we reviewed the scope of this course. We just jumped into NetSuite, saw a few navigations, dashboard, global search, and NetSuite roles. Now let's let's just talk about a little bit, you know, on what is NetSuite and uh, how it is different from other applications. Because I, I definitely would like to talk about that just to give you a, a little bit perspective of why NetSuite is in so much demand. So <clears throat> NetSuite is basically a cloud-based uh, ERP system. Uh, and with cloud-based, it means that uh, it does not require any physical server or any IT infrastructure to run this application within your organization. So you just need to have a subscription of NetSuite. You just buy your subscription. You just type your email, you just type your address, uh, password, and you're able to access this application. So it's as easy as that. All you need to have is an internet connection, and it's just like uh, you know a Facebook or Instagram uh, access that you're doing. Uh, so that that makes life really easy for uh, a lot of organizations who are not interested in maintaining IT overheads, right? So consider yourself as a as a medium sized organization. You just started your business. You're you're growing. Now, uh, you know, for, for such organizations, it is not possible to invest a lot in large IT servers, you know, large PCs, uh, maintain some database administrators and all that stuff. And that's one of the reasons, you know, NetSuite came as a cloud-based ERP system, as a SaaS application. And that's why, you know, more and more organizations are now going towards ERP implementation because they can now afford this. They don't need to buy servers. They don't need to buy hardware. They don't need to buy infrastructures. And they simply need to buy the subscription and they get their application up and running. So, and, uh, and next thing that I would also like to share is that since uh, NetSuite is a, a cloud-based ERP system, so you only need e internet access to, to you know, uh, log in with your application. 
whereas a conventional ERP system would require you to go to office, you need to be on the net, net, you know, your internal network and all that stuff. So you're not bound to all that stuff anymore, especially with the COVID situation. Now more and more organizations are going towards uh, this uh, work from home and hybrid uh, models. So it's very important to switch to an application that works on internet rather than on your internal networks. And this is this is where you know this this application uh, plays a great role. Um, and NetSuite uh, being an end-to-end -end ERP system, so you have already seen the modules that we are covering. So NetSuite covers literally everything. And since you have already worked on QuickBooks, I'm sure you are able to compare both the applications. So NetSuite offers tons and tons of more modules and more features and functionalities, which is why a lot of organizations who are working on QuickBooks are now moving to NetSuite. So, so this is also one of the reasons. So NetSuite is an end-to-end -end ERP system. Uh, it covers all your accounting aspects. It covers all your inventory management, supply chain management, uh, your planning, your HR, payroll, fixed assets, uh, CRM, and whatnot. And this is this is one of the biggest reason why a lot of organizations are now going towards NetSuite. And this is actually the reason behind the NetSuite growth. 